Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual with more gallons. Now, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time. Uh, I never quite get myself to get around to it. Um, there's so many strange things in this picture here. Uh, still a picture taken indoors of me. Um, and let's see if we can't find them. This thing over here is kind of weird. If you look um, at my face, you'll find some pretty weird things too. Um, I have all these horrible sores, of course. But, you know, if you look in the background. What is this over here? Um, You know, this thing here, my face here, uh, by the lips, under the nose. Um, this is a very, very strange um, illness. Uh, and I believe that it involves way more than just some bugs and fibers. Um, from what I've discovered, um, we've been given the Midas touch, and um, they have millions of micro beings living in, on, and around us uh, that are photonic in nature and um, that can't be seen particularly well in this light. They can be seen in interference. Uh, there's something here, but they, they, you know, um, they don't show up so well in regular light. Now, uh, let's just see what we got here. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh my god, look at this poor man. This is my skin on my forehead. Uh, as you can see, it's not only discolored, but alive with little tiny dots. And uh, everywhere is little tiny dots. And if you look really carefully at the little tiny dots, you'll see that uh, once you get the right colors and the right whatever, this, uh, a lot of times you'll end up seeing that uh, there's more there than meets the eye originally, but uh, we're gonna skip that one for now. Uh, usually the oh yeah, the hair is, is interesting on this. Um, let's see if I can find it again. Was it this picture? Uh, well, anyway, you notice I have all these little weird. Things in my hair, they're a lot of focus, but they're making these large white reflective hairs. Uh, something's going on in here. All these inter inter colors and um, weird stuff here. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, most people don't have hair that looks like this, and uh, I don't know if it's even actually hair anymore. I mean, take a look at what I'm looking at here, and uh, let's see what could it be. I know it's a little, a little large. Let's back it down. A little. And, you know, these colors, where are they coming from? Um, you know, what's this here? I mean, this long here, look at here. What is that? 
right there. I mean, it's a little bit uh, pixelated and all, but what are we looking at? Uh, sometimes you can coax these things out, and other times they uh, remain difficult to observe. But as you can see, most of my hairs are very thin. Uh, you know, but then there's a whole bunch of these round ones that don't seem to show up in normal anything. And uh, here's another example. Turn the saturation down a little, see what's in there. Uh, you know, there's these places where stuff appears, and in between those places, there's some information. But what exactly that information is, uh, is a good guess. There's another object. Uh, there's just so much weird stuff going on with the hair. Now, let's see, back down a little on the skin. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next item. What do we got? Another me. Oh, this poor man. My god. Look at what's happening to my face. These things are inside of me. And they're uh, having a field day. You know, in the dark and the light, you find things that are so strange. But this, uh, uh, this thing, I don't fully understand it, but anyway, my lip is destroyed, and there's, uh, it's just so hard to come to terms with, right here, but this could be, I mean, you know, uh, these things growing out of my face that look like whiskers, well, some of them are whiskers, and some of them are something, something else, and, uh, you know, what exactly, I can't really say, but, uh, there's some interesting goings on there, and, uh, it's a very, very strange existence. Uh, it's also making me very sick. Excuse me. Um, anyway, that's enough of this uh, for now. Then, uh, let's see. We can just uh, start here, I guess. Uh, and I'll just run through some of this. Let's see if we can see anything interestingly strange. These are all little scabs I pulled off myself. Um, as you can tell, they resemble things. Uh, don't ask me why, but I mean, as you can see here, this one here, oh, a little too fast, a little too far, seems to have a uh, face, you know, in a sense. I mean, maybe it's just me anthropomorphizing stuff, but uh, I see clearly an eye and an eye and a nose, a hand and a body shape, and you know. But uh, then again, I read things into things. But uh, you know, there's clearly something going on with this piece of material. And, uh, I mean, this one almost looks like a woman with a child. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's just very, very strange. Uh, I'm going to try to do some more of these and 
uh, show you some more of what I have here. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching these. Um, there's, I can see these white things growing out of me in my skin. They make these networks and uh, there's some strange plant-like material that, uh, I mean look at this, it's such a strange photograph, it's such a strange shapes for these things to, to take. Uh, Uh, I don't really know exactly what or why, but it appears to me that there's some connection to consciousness, perhaps, or, you know, oops, uh, unless it's just a trick of the light, or messing with uh, my mind. Now, these creatures have built inside of me a network and a grid. And uh, I can show you some of that. Uh, uh, in the next video, let's run through these real quick. Uh, this is a scab. You can see the hole and the lines they've cut and the white things growing. Again, hole. They go in and out lines that they cut and these white creatures. I've seen these things cut through metal, glass plastic um, and these are scabs that came off of me from the lesions there are many crystalline things and strange uh, meat pieces and little glowing dots and you know all kinds of weird uh, creature looking things I mean this is definitely teeming with life and um, it's so strange to me how some of these things look so anthropomorphic. Uh, I really do wonder because uh, either they're playing with my mind and you know trying to fool me into believing that this stuff is uh, conscious, miniature, telepathic uh, creatures. Um, you know, if this is true, then they're taking over our world because I've seen evidence of this uh, material elsewhere, and I've seen it with other people, and I've seen it, you know, in places I haven't gone. Um, you can see that all the dither, all the noise in the background of my photographs has these weird shapes that resolve sometimes into faces. And I can't tell if that's uh, the way the camera is, whether somebody messed with it, or whether uh, it's something that's happening due to the nature of the objects that I'm recording, um, really can't say. And I know that's really yucky, but uh, all of my skin is being changed into. Uh, home for who knows what and there's some very strange goings on here uh, this, this is obviated by some of these photographs although out of focus perhaps they uh, show some interesting changes to my body and it's uh, seems to be home to very uh, complex system of, of life. Uh, I never used to consider my body as uh, alive in the sense that it's full of millions of living cells that all talk to one another. I sort of thought of it as one thing, but now I'm beginning to realize that in fact I'm made up of millions of little things. And uh, that's all the time we have now. Thank you for watching, and God willing, I will continue this.